Creativity and intellectual capacity is something that's common to the whole of humanity. So one of the functions of intellectual property is to create the conditions that will favour the expression of that creativity and that intellectual capacity that is shared across the whole world. Well, I suppose the next generation is, is coming uh, more and more quickly. Now we see a whole range of disruptive, potentially disruptive technologies out there. Uh, we're not sure which ones are really going to make the world of tomorrow, uh, but many of them probably will. Uh, and they're all coming upon us extremely quickly. So I'd say speed of technological change uh, and the next generation being here tomorrow, really, uh, is what's, what I think about. There is a certain genius in intellectual property itself. It's there for genius, but there is a certain genius in it. Now, what it does is essentially create an incentive for investment in research and development, in innovation, and in cultural production. What do we want to encourage in terms of innovation? We want to encourage especially innovations that are going to improve our quality of life. And life's the fundamental thing. Uh, so the life sciences, I think, uh, are the next really big technological revolution which are, are going to really fundamentally transform our identity as human beings. I suppose young people have the capacity to dream in a way that uh, far surpasses uh, the capacity of old people to dream. Young people have the future ahead of them. They are making the future, they're making what humanity will be. Uh, so keep creating, keep, in, keep innovating, and also uh, you know, uh, pay attention to the social management of this creation and innovation which is increasingly disruptive and increasingly quick to occur. <laughs>